authentication a lock door of every application if implemented poorly can lead to data breach and that's where firebase auth an easy to use and highly secure user authentication service which provides a lot of sign in options and in this video we will learn the most used email based authentication so first make sure you have a firebase project in it we will enable the email password sign in method then add firebase core and firebase auth as a dependency and that's all the setup we need now let's create an auth class which will contain all the logic for the authentication in it we will create a variable to store the firebase auth instance now there are two scenario we will look first when the user enters the email and password for the first time in that case we have to register the user using the firebase auth and second when the user wants to log in using previously register email and password so first we will create a method named register with email and password which takes email and password as a parameter in it we will call auth.createUser with email and password and pass the given email and password to it and it returns the user which then we can store in the database now similarly we will create a method to sign in the user with email and password in it call auth.signin with email and password and pass the given email and password to it and it will return the user which then we can use to fetch other details from the database and that's all the methods we need to authenticate a user now let's create a ui to see these methods in action so here i have created a stateful widget in which we'll first create some variables like is login loading form key and a text editing controller for email and password for the ui i have added a form and a column widget now in the column we will add a text widget then add some spacing now we'll create a text form field for email in it assign the email controller then add a validator to make sure that the value is not empty or null then add some basic decoration now similarly we'll create another text form field for password in it assign the password controller and set the obscure text to true then add the same validator only with a different message and same decoration and lastly add a elevated button with some basic styling and add on press equal to handle submit now for his child if the loading is true then we will return a circular progress indicator or else a text widget in it if the is login is true then return login or else register you will see why i'll be doing this in a moment but first let's create the handle submit method but before that set the is login to false because at first we will be registering the user now create the handle submit method in it will check if the form key dot current state dot validate is false this will call the validate method which we have specified and if it is false then we will return from here or else we will store the email and password from their respective controller and set the loading to true now for the demonstration purpose i am using the is logging variable to decide if the user is already registered or not so if the is login is true then we will call our auth class dot sign in with email and password and pass the given email and password to it or else call auth dot register with email and password and this way it calls the respective method based on is login variable and lastly set the loading to false and now when we start our application we should see a ui similar to this but wait let's also see how to change the home screen based on the authentication state which is very simple so in the main file we will replace the auth screen with stream builder which is of type user in it add stream and pass firebase auth dot instance dot auth state changes which returns a stream of user but we don't have to deal with it just add a builder which gives the context and snapshot in it we will check if the snapshot has data which means if the user is logged in then this method should return the user details and if it is true then we will return the home screen which is a simple scaffold widget with an elevated button of sign out which has an on press of firebase auth dot instance dot sign out and this will sign out the user it's that simple now back to the stream builder where the snapshot has no data so in that case return the auth screen now let's restart the application and test it so add a test email and password and then click on this register button we see the loading indicator and then we are redirected to the home screen where we can see the sign out button and in the firebase we can see the user with a given email in the authentication tab now let's sign out to test the logging functionality so change the is logging to true and how to restart the application and in the ui the button text changes to login now enter the same email and password as previous and as we click on the login we are redirected to the home screen and that's how we create a email based authentication using firebase and by the way this whole tutorial is also available in written format where we cover about error handling so do check the link in the description